So why on earth would you take higher level maths? Well, the short answer is bonus points, the 25 bonus points. With more and more students taking higher level maths, it was 36% last year, over 20,000 of them. It's very easy to feel that if I'm not taking higher level maths, I'm starting off 25 points behind all of the other students who are competing for the same college course as I am. So the, the one thing to keep an eye on is that higher level maths is quite tricky and you can find it takes up a lot of your time. So what you may find is that you know, you, you're spending more time on higher level maths and the subjects that are better, that you're better at, are starting to suffer as a result. So as the year goes on, if you find you're spending more and more time on higher level maths and the subjects you're traditionally better at are maybe beginning to slip grades wise, it might be worth questioning whether or not you're making the right decision to taking higher level maths. Can I chime in there? Sure, Tracy, yeah. So students, as you know, regularly spend far too long at a higher level, despite actually realising that they want to take the ordinary level exam. Now, when they do this, what they end up doing is not only letting the other subjects suffer, maybe like history and geography, but also they actually don't spend enough time on the ordinary level content, because that ordinary level content isn't actually covered in detail in the higher level classes, and students need longer at that. So you're letting your math suffer, but also you're letting all those other subjects suffer. That's good advice. Follow